obviously a fight that everybody's looking forward to. But, uh, you know, an emotional one. I know you still have to deal with uh, a press conference. You still have to deal with face-offs, all that. Is it difficult to, to prepare yourself and to kind of manage the emotions ahead of a fight like this? No, not really. It's just the juggling act is focusing on making the weight and getting your workouts in, but then also having to, you know, get everything else done, all the obligations. Because all you want to do is, like, cut the weight, lay down, relax, get ready to cut the weight again. Uh, but, I, no, I enjoy it. I was going to ask you, too. I mean, you guys kind of look like you have a little bit of fun when you go back and forth at each other, but uh, is it a little annoying to have to deal with it, or do you kind of enjoy having a, a rivalry in your career? No, I don't. I don't mind it. I like it to a certain extent, especially when you don't like the guy. So, um, I definitely don't mind it. But after a little while, like pre the way I am personally, it, when it comes to like what's more important, now it's fight week. Now it's time to make weight. Like I'm, I don't have that extra energy to still be fucking around with that. Like we'll deal with that after when we start rehydrating. But like, dude's got too much fucking energy. I was gonna ask you. I mean, is there a part of you that hopes that this is a career, like a, a rival that lingers throughout your career? And you hope, like, this is it. We've had enough. Let's let's move on. The my career is winding down, man. So I mean, linger throughout the career is a weird thing to 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 think about. It's not like I'm gonna be around for another decade of me and him going at it. I just don't fucking like him. He doesn't like me, um, and I don't think I ever will. I don't think he ever will. And uh, I'm okay with that. Not every I learned in life, like not everybody's gonna be your people. Not everybody's gonna like you. Uh, you're not gonna like everybody. That's just the way way it goes in life. And and uh, but you don't have to be a pushover to those people. You don't have to listen to their bullshit. And you know that's that's also who I am. And he doesn't like that. That's lastly for me. When you touched on, I said, hey, the career's kind of wind down a little bit, but. A lot of big news this week is for the future of this organization. Have you thought about how that impacts you at all and, and what you see for next year, jumping back in the season or maybe exploring some of these other career paths that might be open with this new partnership? Yeah, I, I actually have. I feel like it's almost like, like a fate thing in a, in a sense. I was just in the other room, and I didn't know how I was going to go about letting everybody, like, you know, do this or know this and whatever. And he he was even saying some shit in the interviews the other day, and I'm like, bro, you have no fucking idea – what's even on my mind um but you know this is the last time that any of you are going to see me fight at 45 uh, i've spoken to my family all year I've spoken to my my loved ones friends my daughter everything and like nobody wants me to make this weight anymore so um the only person that could even bring me out to do it again is this fucking guy and it's because I want to put my hands on him. And if I don't, I try. The, you want to all know the truth? I tried to fight him at 55 because this fight doesn't mean anything. Because I want, we're both big. We both cut weight. I want to be healthy, and I want to fight the guy. He forcefully pulling me all the way, not just to 46, but to 45 at, to have this fight. And he says, I'm fucking Karen. Who's, you want to really fight? Uh, we're all cutting weight anyway. We could have fought at 55. We could have done that, but here I am one more time because he, he deserves it. He needs to get it. Do you anticipate a heated face-off with him, or do you feel like maybe you guys are going to drop us all and just be kind of normal in there? You get to save it for the fight or you got to have some words? I don't even – I couldn't even tell you. I, I don't – I'm not – you know, plan. I don't plan face-offs or anything like that. You know, like most of the times I walk up there, I'm just doing my thing, handling business. But I also do, I will play to what that person is doing or giving because I don't deal with disrespect. And he's always, he's always habitually line stepping when it comes to disrespect. So uh, if he wants to be normal, we're gonna be fine. <clears throat> if he wants to be a piece of shit, you know, there could be a fight up there. Because, I'm, I'm, again, I'm not fucking around with that guy. Chris, based on what Bubba was saying earlier and everything leading up to this fight, it seems to some extent that this is almost more personal for him as the attacks have come uh, more personal, more specific, and more like consistent. When you step into the cage on Friday, is there going to be any personal animosity going into that fight, or is it just business as usual? Is it just another guy? There? No, it's all fucking personal. And it's all, he's literally a nutcase because it's all on his end. Like, the the whole thing started 
all I did was talk about how much respect I had for him coming from the same community as me, being a national champion wrestler, how much I value that, and th but saying, believing in myself, saying, but it's not a wrestling match, it's an MMA fight, and I'm a veteran. This was the first fight, the semis, saying, you know, I believe in myself. So offended by that. How dare I have faith in myself? How dare I, right? God forbid. And the, the back and forth shit at the press conference started then. I want to punch Chris Wade right in his mouth and his, and his antics start. And it goes from there. If he was like, yo, I respect what he had to say. He wrestled too, respect. Be like me and Braga are friendly, but, you know, we had to fight. But he can't handle that. He can't handle it. So um, here we are. This is just snowballed and snowballed. And he says stuff constantly in interviews that are personal, they're offensive. And like, my people don't like it. My family doesn't like it. My friends don't like it. And they take it to heart. And uh, they like to see him fail. And they saw him fail in person in the semis. And that's why he's so wound up and wants to fight me. It's because my family was there after they, he got TKO'd. They let him know, you know, you ran your mouth and look at you now. And he's butthurt about it. It's, he's in his head. It plays over and over. And he needs, to, he needs to try to, like, vindicate, you know, somehow. And that's why we're here. We're here because he's looking for, like, for this, like, new start to next season and try to wash off the bad, like, all the bad. And they're allowing him to do that. It's not because they came to me, like, hey, Chris, we want to give you this. This is coming from from that end. So, come get it. Chris, I think we have a pretty good idea of what this means for you personally. But what does it look like when you win professionally? What's going to be next? Like, what do you kind of see for yourself in the future? Man, I don't know. I, I like, I'm at a point where it's like, a, it's a little emotional because it's been such a good, like, long run, you know? And I just, I'm, um, now this, it was like, I was about to basically tell you guys, like, you know, this is definitely it. And now this, like, Bellator signing, like, two days ago, now I don't know, like, I don't know, does that mean there is an opportunity for me to fight at a weight that's healthy for me again? If that, if that's the case, then I would love to do that. I still love to compete, but if that's not something that they want to allow or, or, or they want me to be a part of, then or maybe I, I do something else. I don't know, it, in, in some capacity in and around the organization, I would still love to do that. But I uh, love being a part of fighting. I love being around this. I love being around you guys. And, and, uh, and uh, I always want to be a part of it. And what, what that part is leading up going into next year, I don't know. But I just know that right now, I got nothing to lose. I got a man to beat up. And that's it. That's why we're here this week. Thank you. Chris, uh, just going off kind of the disrespect that you mentioned there, uh, he just called you when he was in here, his easiest opponent he's had in his career. And I just wanted to ask you. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> where you would rank him amongst your toughest opponents? Because that was the original question asked of him. He's a psychopath, man. He really is. Um, Obviously, he's not my easiest opponent, right? I, I am not mentally ill. Um, he's a great wrestler. He's one of the best grapplers I've ever fought. Um, he doesn't come off when he speaks like he's intelligent, but <laughs> he's, his IQ in grappling is like sky high, man. It's, he's got like Elon Musk uh, grappling IQ. I know adjustments that I watched him make from the first fight to the second fight, and like not that many people can make those adjustments. And he made like each and every one of them. And I guarantee you, he did those things himself. I don't think it was like his coaches being like, here's where you went wrong. Like, he went and looked, he knew what he did. And, uh, and you have to look out for that man, because if he, if he gets into dominant positions, you're, it's, it's almost like a, check like you're trapped you're just trapped so you ha you got to keep him off you because if you don't it's a long long night
just as for uh, you know fighting here, the capital of the country, is mm-hmm. that a little thing for you, or is that viewed as a, a normal, normal fight? I don't give a shit. This place is loaded with libs. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. Chris, um, you've had a great career. One of the people you fought, you actually wrestled against Colby Covington in junior college. Do you think in the moment, did you think he had the potential to become this good? And how do you think he does at UFC 296? Yeah, man, I lost to Colby in the national finals, the JUCO national finals, and I didn't really know who he was at the time. I just knew he was John's roommate because I knew John from uh, – we graduated the same year. We won states the same year in high school wrestling. So me and John knew one of one another. That was at 165. I'm fighting 145 today. Like, what has happened? What's going on right now? Um, but no, man, this was so right before all the fighting stuff cracked off. So you didn't know who was a fighter, who wasn't a fighter. But I could tell you that dude was strong. Like, I get, all the points were getting scored on me. Off, of, I would get in on him, I would go to score, and he would just counter at the last second and do something and squeeze me. And I remember saying to myself, like, I'm in the wrong weight class right now. This is – I'm getting squeezed here. He just was putting it on me. And now he's fighting at 170. It kind of makes sense, right? But, uh, yeah, I knew he was something – not too many people can just, like, have their way with me in in grappling situations and he was one of them that like made me kind of feel like I don't belong in that weight and that was eye-opening for me I knew he was a problem thank you Chris Chris um, I know I know I know you said uh, between the first and second fight how Bubba had like fine-tuned his wrestling so much Mm -hmm. Uh, was that was that was that second fight that loss was part of that the wrestling and part of that the weight cut or like what do you no, nah, I mean, I, I'm not blaming the weight cut. I mean, I fought great the last two fights at 45. I think I should could be in the finals right now. I could could be. Obviously, I split decision, right? You could be. Um, it's not. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't that. It's just like flat. Didn't want to be there. Didn't want to climb the mountain again, so to speak. Like the season, like you have to navigate through. It's like landmines, like Bubba and Brendan and Movlead and this. And, like, you have to make it through, like, up through each one. And I had already done it, like, four times. It starts to get discouraging. Like, God, how many times are you going to make me do this before I actually get that belt? You know, I actually get the reward. And uh, and I was feeling sorry for myself coming off the Brendan fight, like, just depressed. Like, can't believe I was the one seed, didn't win, don't want to climb this mountain again. And then, like, that fight woke me up, actually, because I was just, like, checked out. What, what a best two out of three win over uh, Bubba mean, mean to you at this point? I mean, it's why I'm standing here, man. I told you I don't want to do that. I don't want to be at this weight. I asked for 55. They basically told me off. I, I didn't want to fight at this weight. I wanted to fight, go back to lightweight, and I figured – He's a pretty big guy, too. I figured, like, it would be a break for both of us, you know. We, we both cut weight. I wasn't trying to, like, screw him over by it. I thought maybe it would be a break before the holiday for both of us. We could both compete, both make money for our families, and not kill ourselves doing it. And it was, like, crickets. So, I don't know, man. But here we are. One day to go. That's one. One. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Say someone misses weight, you need your backup. Mm-hmm. You know, he said he would fight for the title, but it, it seemed like he was not quite sure. And I'm learning what your answer to that question would be. Title. Yeah. I mean, this rivalry is not that important. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's not like that. Um, not at all. Like, if I had the opportunity to fight for the million and the belt and everything, like, that is way more important than, oh, uh, I need to settle this feud, you know. <laughs> Oh, you said, oh, I thought you had one more. You were saying one more. (laughs) Thank you, guys.